Chris and I actually have a ton of videos to set up today, not today, throughout the entire week, and one of them was a this waterfall. So I thought I'd show you guys how we're gonna transform a pretty small space into a cool little this waterfall. But let's go back over to the Sandbox Studio and I'll show you where we're at so far. Film crew, say hi. And Chris, and you all know Chris, he needs no introduction. He did comb his hair today though, so. <laughs> Out my car door window. <laughs> so Chris and I were just talking, this is an aqua basin backyard waterfall and fountain kit. Is that what it's called? Backyard waterfall landscape fountain kit. Oh my God. Right, they need to work on that, <laughs> don't they? Can't they just call it a pilot's waterfall? It is what it is. So we have this four foot by four foot aqua basin and the two of us are gonna show you how we can build a little waterfall coming down in here and really transform the space. Now all last week we spent doing all these different fountain scapes and for both of us, I think we really kind of lean towards the natural side of things and building waterfalls is a lot more fun than setting up fountain scapes. But the big discussion we just had is how much space do you think we actually need? The aqua basin takes up a four foot by four foot footprint. We could technically build a waterfall in this space in a six foot by six foot, but as artists and people that can't paint inside the lines, we tend to use probably closer to an eight foot by eight foot or even a 10 foot by 10 foot. And the reason you want more space is really for that berm. You can see how high things are up there now. We're actually building into an existing berm. A lot of times we don't have that, so we'd be bringing out three or four yards of soil. When we bring out that extra soil, that soil really needs to taper off to the left and taper off to the right. And that's where we start eating into that 10 foot by 10 foot area. Now, if you don't have that, we could always build retaining walls and everything else and kind of shrink the space down. But the rule of thumb is the bigger the area, the better it's always gonna look. It leaves more room for plants and trees and shrubs and perennials and annuals and etc 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 so hold on we'll get this thing in next step we've got our aqua basin in that's really probably the hardest part now comes the artistic part and kind of shaping out everything and starting to build our waterfall so this is our pile of rocks to work from we've got about eight to ten 12 inch to 18 inch boulders. We usually have about eight to 10 little cobbles just to play with. Some of these get used for shims, some of them get used for filling in between here and there. And then we have usually about four to five buckets of gravel. But all of this can be moved by hand, which is the key. And now it's just taking these puzzle pieces and trying to figure out what the finished result should actually look like. We don't have a paint by numbers type thing that we work off of, but Chris is gonna grab the first rock. We're gonna set it over here someplace on the aqua basin. Once that rock gets set, then his vision and his mind will kind of adapt to the shape of that rock. And then I'll set another one and then his vision will adapt and change and change and change and kind of evolve over time. But our goal is to get a waterfall that comes in right in this area kind of twist and come this way. That's the goal right now. As we set rocks, things might completely change, who knows? But we're looking for a minimum of two waterfalls. Maybe we'll figure out three, but we'll definitely get two waterfalls coming from here, down to here, and then back into this. I think what's nice about the granite boulders is because they're round, they're a little easier to roll around and put into place. Chris is more than capable of picking that up, but he doesn't want to show off. So he's just gonna roll, <laughs> roll it to make the rest of you guys feel human. <laughs> I end up like all over. Yeah. <laughs> so it's nice is he'll be able to roll that right on top of the aqua basin and it won't flex that thing at all. Those things are extremely strong. So you can just roll it right up in there. It's gonna set it up as one of his frame rocks. So every waterfall we build is kind of built the same. We have one rock on one side, one rock on the other, and then something coming in between. So he'll look at that one. You can see his mind is already second guessing his I first choice. Way too big. Second guessing way his first too choice. Big. I knew it was too big, but I just like to see him roll around. 200 pound rocks. <laughs>
Filming always makes things take a little bit longer, but I love the way the whole Tomless water feature turned out on top of that aqua basin DIY landscape waterfall fountain kit package. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I think they should change it. Right? The they need a bigger yeah, box. Right? That <laughs> bigger box. Yeah, there's no, they'll never fit the print all the way across the box they have right now. But uh, it turned out amazing. I think what um, I like so much about it is it's really like three wheelbarrows worth of stone and it, the impact it has on the space. I mean, it completely transformed it. I like it way more, I think, than the urn, the, the salt columns. I mean, but to each their own. Yeah, but the, the, the artistic side of it really, um, I think, is what makes it so gratifying for us and why I think maybe we identify with it a little bit more. Much more of an organic process and we get to scratch our heads a couple times and figure out how we're gonna hide this, where is this plank gonna go, where is yep. that rock gonna go. The other thing that's amazing is actually how small it is and what a huge impact it has. I would say that waterfall is probably 13, 14 inches higher than grade. Yeah. And look at what this looks like. Oh my God. Oh. It looks good dry. <laughs> You know the rest. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna look amazing. You can kind of see where the waterfalls are coming through there. Obviously a little touch of color here and there brings it all to life. I wish you could smell these hyacinths. Or maybe I wish you couldn't, because it's a little <laughs> it's a little overwhelming. But it definitely means spring is around the corner and it's getting, uh, I know Chris and myself, pretty excited about getting out there and building some water features for you guys. kind of sad sad because we're eventually not eventually we're finally I don't know what the word is either way I'm emotionally confused we are done working in this spot we've done nine total water features all in the exact same setting we just finished up with our poundless waterfall onto our aqua basin and I would say my biggest takeaways from a poundless waterfall on an aqua basin is how much you can really transform the space with such minimal materials. Remember, we have a four foot by four foot tub sitting here, and this doesn't look anything like a square. I really love how we took the gravel out past the tub. We got that dry stream bed look over there, really helping tie that space together with this. And with a waterfall, really no higher than maybe 12 to 14 inches high, Look at how much we have going on. One, two, three, four little drops coming out of there. I mean, yeah, none of the drops are more than two to three inches tall, but a lot of movement in that area. And of course, with the plants, it really transforms this. I don't think there's a single person that would love to have this in their yard. And with, you know, maybe 15 rocks, about four or five buckets full of gravel, Look what you can do in a short amount of time in very, very little space. Chris and I talked before about it needing maybe six by six at the very smallest, but with a 10 by 10, 10 by 12 foot area, you can really do a whole lot more. And I think uh, the pictures are gonna prove that the same. Our next pondless waterfall is gonna be much bigger because Chris and I are now gonna move to the other side of this berm where we're gonna be using bigger aqua blocks, more liner, um, pump vaults, extensions on those pump vaults, bigger lights, bigger pumps, et cetera, et cetera. So this is cool, but wait till we see what we do next. <laughs> 